Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to pop on here before the actual video starts. So this video is obviously a Manny Luna Beauty video, first impression review kind of thing. I filmed this video before all the drama shit went down, so just keep that in mind if you want to know about the drama. I'll link a video down below. If you don't know about the drama, it doesn't really matter because I don't bloody care about it either. The main reason I've popped on here before the video starts is I filmed a video with my really good friend Jacob on his channel and we use the Luna Beauty palette as well but we used it together in that video so we're making this kind of like a collab even though he's not in this video. There goes my phone. So I will leave Jacob's channel down below as well as the video if you guys want to check it out. I think it will be really funny. We had so much fun filming it together. So yeah you technically get three looks with this palette. You get this one here and then you get two over on Jacob's channel. I do more of like a wearable look in that video whereas this one's like just crazy bright colors. Let's just get straight into it. Hi guys welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out a new eyeshadow palette. A new eyeshadow palette to me not necessarily new new but it's fairly new um, I'm going to be trying out the Luna Beauty Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette this is by Manny MUA there goes my hair or Manny Mua as we like to say related to Tanya Mua so today basically I'm going to use this palette I don't know if it's going to be like a full-on review I kind of just want to have a play with it so I guess it's going to be like a first impression try on kind of video with this palette I've been dying to use it it's it's bloody huge like look look at the size okay so this is the outer packaging for the palette it's got Manny's eyes on it and then it's got Luna Beauty back here and this is what the inside of the palette looks like in case you guys haven't seen it and it does come with a brush it does come with a mirror as well but yeah overall I think it's a really beautiful palette I wasn't actually going to buy this I just I don't know I had no intention of buying it and then it came to Black Swallow which is an Australian website and then I was like damn maybe I should buy it and then my friend Tanya and my friend Jacob convinced me to buy it and then I just bought it um, on impulse so here we are so I thought I'd make use of it and show you guys a look with it I wish this was live so I could get your opinion on what kind of look I should do I think I'm going to do something fun I'm going to use a bit of color today but I don't know how fun we're going to be as you would have noticed I do have my brows done because I've always got my brows done um, I hate doing my brows on camera I don't know why it's just a hate but if you guys do want to see an updated routine let me know down below and I'll film it um, I do have foundation on because I'm doing a foundation review and first impressions so I do have have an essence foundation on this is the essence fresh and fit foundation in the color 30 fresh honey but if there's any products you want to know what I've got on my face and I haven't shown it I'm going to have it down below in the description so yeah I think the coffee's kicked in because I'm not usually like this in my videos I feel like I need to go for a run okay so I've rambled enough make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I'm going to prime my eyes I'm going to use my um, usual Tarte shape tape in light neutral I'm just gonna apply this on the eyeball I'm going to take my dirty beauty blender that I used yesterday that I probably should have washed but here we are and now I'm just going to take a pressed powder. This is my Astralis Fresh and Flawless. I'm just going to set the concealer down. I'm going to take the color Kiki. And I'm going to use the brush in the palette. I'm going to focus this on the crease, but maybe just halfway. I might put the yellow on the inner half. I'm just going to do the same to the other eye i'm going to use this as like a transition shade because i think i might go in with the color fishy which is the blue and if you guys aren't into like loud kind of makeup this probably won't be for you but if you enjoy the process of makeup then you'll probably like this i'm going to switch over to a zoeva brush this one is a 221 luxe soft crease brush i just need something a little bit more like fluffy that brush is um a bit denser just need something to really like blow this out so I think I've built this up to what I want. You do have to build this color because it is quite a light 
color um, but it's blended out quite nicely I'm now going to go in with the color campy with the same brush and this is the yellow shade and with the yellow I'm going to blend this more in the inner crease I guess and blend it into kiki it's almost turning into like a lime green because it's mixing in with the other color which I don't mind if there's any like particular looks you would like to see with the palette let me know because I'd be happy to play around with this more Okay, so this is what we've got going on. You can see um, the colors just blend so nicely together. I'm now going to take the color Fishy, which is the blue. It's kind of got a bit of shimmer through it, but I remember watching Manny's video and he said they put a bit of shimmer through it so it would blend out a bit nicer. I've just swapped over to a smaller brush. This one's a Morphe M507 brush. I would like to kind of deepen up the look a little bit. This blue shade is a little bit more powder when you dip into the pan. I'm going to mix the blue with that Kiki color just so um, it blends up nicer. Um, again, like the blue, you kind of have to build up. It does build up though. Yeah, it takes a little bit to kind of get it there, but it is a nice color. And again, they blend out very nicely. I'm not having any trouble blending these out. They're not patchy. So next color I'm going to take is Pageant Queen, which is the purple, and I'm still going to use this little brush here. I'm going to try and pack this maybe on kind of the lid, but also up into the crease with the blue, and then I'll leave this inner half for, I think, Beat, um, which is this shimmery color here, and I think maybe that's all I will do. I'm not sure yet. I'm just, you know, winging it, like I said. I'm just going to take the brush that comes with the palette. I'm going to take the packing one and just pack it on. So far the fallout hasn't been too bad. I found that the blue had a bit of fallout, but the other two were all right. Okay, so I've been blending this eye out and it's all going well. I think like in the crease, it's looking really good. But for the purple, like right here, it's just kind of not sticking. I'm not sure why. Like I can pack the color on and it goes on. But if I wipe, um, the color actually does fall off my eye. See, I just tried to blend it and then it disappeared off my eye, which is annoying. I'm just going to leave that eye for now. I'm going to go to this eye and start blending the purple up. So it looks like the purple, um, it's doing it to this eye as well, where it's not sticking. I think what's happening here is obviously the purple and the blue are different formulas. And I think the blue, because it does have shimmer through it, I feel like it's maybe more of a oilier formula. So it is sticking a lot better to the eye than the purple. Um, so that's why like the blue, like right in here is very pigmented and the purple's just not, it's not sticking. I'm just going to take this one and I'm not bothered if the like purple mixes in with it. It's going on really easily and like I haven't wet my brush at all that's so nice oh wow this is probably one of the best um, shimmers I've ever used because it's not like crumbling off I've just wet my brush as well I just want to see what it looks like Okay, so I'm done. The shade Beat definitely had probably the most fallout because I do have like kind of glitter shimmer all over my face now. So I'm going to go just kind of clean up my under eyes. Okay, so I've put my liner and lashes on. I went for really big lashes today because I thought, why not? We're going crazy with the makeup. So why not get some crazy lashes on there? These are the Bouquet Beauty Angel Lashes. And Bouquet Beauty is by one of my really good friends, Jacob, here on YouTube so I will have them linked down below. I've decided I will show you my face makeup today. If you're not interested in any of this and you just were kind of interested in um, the Manny palette, Life's a Drag palette, I'll put a timestamp like here if you want to just hear me um, talk about the palette, what I think of it so far. Obviously it's not like an in-depth review because I've only kind of used half of the palette and like the coloured shadows. But yeah, if you want to hear that you can go, go to that part. But I'm going to do some makeup. I feel 
like I haven't really shown um, me doing, you know, concealer and all that kind of stuff for a while. So I'm going to try out the Mecca Max Life Proof Cream Concealer. This is from Mecca, which is an Australian um, makeup store here, kind of like a Sephora. This one's in the color Nude 3.5. I've never used it. I thought, oh, it's a bit dark. I thought I would try it out today, but it's look, oh, it's a bit dark. It's very um watery. It kind of reminds me of um, the ColourPop concealer. Just take my um, dirty sponge and just blend it out because I think it's going to be too dark to use. I've got another concealer I've never used before. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. This one's in the color Light Warm. The packaging is awesome on this. It definitely looks a bit lighter. It is very yellow and it's very thick. I'm just gonna blend it out. I don't know. I feel like this is a concealer that would dry really quickly. I'm going to put some up here as well and on the chin. So far, I'm enjoying it. The coverage is really nice and it's covered my under eyes amazingly. It is definitely a drier formula, so I don't know if you guys don't like dry concealers, you might not like this one, but I'm enjoying it so far. So for my under eyes, I'm going to use my Astralis Banana Powder, but this is the loose version. I haven't used this before, so I'm going to pat this underneath. I might actually put it on the sponge. And I'll do some around my mouth. I just want to prevent those smile lines. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my Savvy Natural Finish Press Powder. This is like my favorite powder ever and it's so affordable. I think it's like $5 or something. Such a good powder. I've just dusted that powder off. I'm not really sure how I feel about the loose banana powder. It's definitely much more translucent than the pressed um, banana powder. And that's why I like the pressed one because I feel like it really does brighten my under eyes where this one, I feel like it's done much. So because I'm looking really, really matte at the moment, I want to bring a bit of life back to this face. I'm going to take my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I use this all the time, but I really feel like it makes my face look a little bit healthier brings it back to life I just feel really flat at the moment I'd really like to know how long I've been using this for it's definitely been a few years and I've used a lot of it I feel like for some reason it's going patchy in my face and this never does this ever it's really on this side it's just kind of like grabbing weirdly on my cheek like I said I am doing like a foundation review and first impression today so it could totally be the foundation I think I'm going to go in with blush next just to see if I can blend out this patchiness um, I've got my hourglass ambient liking blush palette I love this thing again had it for years I'm gonna mix these two here I just want to see if I can blend out my cheeks a bit I did say when I was filming my foundation review it did look a bit patchy but it's looking even more patchier as I put product over the top. So to contour, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Complicated Cool Medium Contour Powder. I haven't used this in a while, but this is one of my favorites. Such a cute little compact. Love the color of it for contouring. I'm not going to do too much just because I don't trust this base right now. So I'm going to take my Rimmel Translucent Powder and I'm going to clean up my contour, my nose and um, just here as well. And for highlighter today, I'm going to take my Charabella highlighter. And this one's in the color Charlie's Glow. Again, this is by one of my friends, Tanya, here on YouTube and Instagram. I'm going to have Jacob and Tanya down below if you want to go follow their pages. They're both so amazing at makeup and they both have really amazing products. That's what it looks like. It's so beautiful. You can see there's like a really big dint in it. I'm going to wipe away the bake. 
So now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go in with the purple and I'm going to take the flat shader again. I'm just going to press this underneath. I'm also going to dip into fishy. I'm just going to mix this with the purple. And lastly, I think I'm going to dip into Kiki just to blend out the edges. So I think I'm going to actually go in with a little bit of the black, which is called Shady. And I'm just going to put it a little bit um, just on the outer corner. I'm also going to take the tiniest bit of eyeliner and just put it on the outer corner. So for lips, I've got this Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner. This one's in the color Dusty Rose. So what I want to put on top is this Astralis Girl Boss Velvet Lip Cream. This one's in the color Harmony. I did use this yesterday when I filmed, but it's so beautiful. I have to use it again and it smells awesome. Some people don't like the smell. I really like the smell of this. Okay, so I've done my makeup. I'm really happy with how it's looking. I love my eye makeup. It's so nice and colorful. I definitely want to do more looks with this palette. I feel like I've only scraped the surface in terms of how many looks you can do with this palette. But yeah, I really did enjoy this palette today. I don't really think I've got much to say about it. Like I feel like the shadows were pretty easy to work with. I definitely think the shade Campy, which is the yellow, is probably one of the best yellows I have ever used in an eyeshadow palette it went on so easily I know there's like only a little bit of yellow showing but it went on very easily um, straight away usually yellows that I've used just don't really show up very well so I was really impressed with that the purple was a bit patchy but then again purples are probably the hardest shade to kind of make in the makeup world so I don't know it didn't bother me too much like it looks really beautiful on the lower lash line obviously I haven't used the whole palette I haven't done swatches I feel like this isn't really a review review I tried it out um, it was a first impressions I guess but I did enjoy the palette I will definitely use it again uh, it's a thumbs up from me so far like I'm I'm happy with it but yeah as for everything else like I didn't try too many new things today like I tried a new concealer and a new under eye powder but yeah they were all right the banana powder wasn't like my favorite thing in the world I did really like the concealer and a first impression and review should be coming for this foundation very very soon and if it's already up I'll have that linked in the eye and down below for you guys to check out so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me come follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and snapchat I don't really use snapchat so maybe don't worry about that one but yeah I'll see you guys really soon in my next video bye